6500. Okay, this thing runs as it should. It's always, it's always an experience driving, running up the red line on bias by tires. Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette. I have a 62 340 horse red red convertible. Uh, a few videos ago, actually two videos ago, I had another 62 red red convertible. And I talked about how that car was a driver. Nice car, but you know, if you're picky and, and you want a car that has a concourse paint job, has a high end restoration, uh, and somebody spent $175,000 on, and you can buy it for a whole lot less than that. I said, you know, th th then, then you should look for, for a car, you know, uh, that's, that's a higher level car. And I had one coming in and well, that, that's this car. I bought this, oh, maybe seven or so years ago from that owner who restored it, spent a ton of money on the car. It was an unhit body, beautiful original body. He spent a, a lot of money on the car. And, you know, at the time, I, I don't remember what I paid for it, but uh, they've since come up in value. You know, I got it back from the, the gentleman I sold it to. Actually, we're doing a resto mod for him and that's uh, just wrapping up. And he doesn't have uh, the space for, you know, uh, two solid axles. So anyway, uh, th th this is the car I was speaking of. And, you know, if, if you're looking for a car better than that driver level car, um, you know, and, and, and you decide that uh, you can afford it and, and you deserve it, um, this is this is the car you, you need to buy because if you buy a car like this first off you know finding a real red red unhit body original driveline car you're probably going to pay 60 grand for that car needing a full restoration it's hundred and seventy five thousand dollars at any competent shop you know that's going to be able to do it in, in, a, in a reasonable amount, you know, amount of time not take six or seven years and yeah, that's what it costs this car has been driven uh, it does have the original type bias by tires on it. Um, it's a car, now it's base coat, clear coat. It's gorgeous paint. And it's, there's, you know, there's no issues with it. No issues with the body. Nothing's coming back. I mean, it was just done right on a beautiful original body. So that's, that's the way to do it. But I mean, the car looks great. It's showing 3,900 miles. And I, I don't know if it was reset to zero back at the time. Uh, I, I just don't know that. Uh, I suspect that's what it was. So that's about what probably, you know, probably what it's been driven. And uh, man, it looks like a, you know, it looks like a fresh restoration. You know, the chrome is beautiful on it. Just across the board, we've got detailed pictures on, on the underside. You know, the, everything was properly remanufactured. The engine was properly remanufactured. And that's, you know, when I say that, that means, you know, not just taken out and, you know, repainted orange and maybe a new set of rings. Rebuilt, properly rebuilt. Same thing with the transmission. In fact, that had been popping out of first gear, you know, after I sold it to this gentleman. And we've since become friends and he, he ended up doing it himself. He's got one of, one of the world's largest commercial machine shops. So he, hell, he probably made the parts for it. And, uh, but anyway, he, he, he fixed that. And that had been rebuilt as well. But, uh, you know, it is common, that, you know, in those transmissions, even, even on a recent rebuild. You know, it's it's just one of those cars that you come across. Certainly not underpriced for what it is. I had to pay a lot of money to get back. And, uh, you know, it's priced in the 120 range. But again, go duplicate it, you know. And if, if you try to buy a car like this at an auction, you're going to be bidding against, you know, 10 other guys. It's going to go to 140 and then you got to pay another 10%. You know, you'll pay 150, 160 for this car at an auction. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what it is. And... Uh, I'm not going to dwell on it. Uh, I do need to, to address one thing. Um, the uh, Wonder Bar radio was removed. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he still has it. Uh, I'm going to say that's included in the sale. Uh, he put in a uh, different, um, you know, a modern, uh, correct appearing electronic radio. And, uh, you know, that's got uh, inputs and all that. So iPod and all that. And speakers on the uh, kick panels. So that's the only thing that's changed since uh, since I sold the car. And, you know, it's tastefully done and it does sound nice. So I would leave that be. Um, but the original kick panels did have speaker holes. I believe they were, 
uh, six inch speakers uh, installed in there. So they're cheap enough to get if, if you wanted to bring it back to the Wonder Bar radio. But overall, the car is in great shape. The top's perfect on it. It was a hard top car. I never got the hard top. I'm not one of those dealers that cobbles hard tops. Um, honestly, they're just a hassle for me. Uh, and I don't have space for them. So it does not have a hard top. You know, they're out there. They're, they're, not, they're not cheap either. I mean, you're gonna pay, you know, 3,500 to 7,000 for a really good hard top. Uh, if, you, if you feel like you gotta have one. So anyway, that's it. We're gonna take this thing for a ride. This car really does run well. Steers, brakes, and, you know, does everything it should properly and uh, we'll let you feel it. Let's go. Okay, so my brake indicator light works, my high beam light works, indicator light works. Um, you know, as it should. Uh, if I act surprised when some of this stuff, you know, works as it should, uh, that's because a lot of times it doesn't. Now, one thing I am waiting for a part, the, uh, the high-low, a uh, heat, heat uh, switch is uh, not working. And my dear friend put this bypass on here, which I was kind of shocked to see because he's such a perfectionist, but I guess uh, that happened and he was cold and just said the hell with it, I need heat and I'm putting an on off switch one. So we're gonna, we're gonna fix that. I did the, notice that in my operations and <laughs> I got a kick out of it. That's not something you see every day. Anyway, that's that'll be corrected. And uh, as I said, the radio will uh, will will address that accordingly. Now again, this has reproduction bias ply tires on it and you know it, it, it drives accordingly um, a set of radials would would change the dynamic of the way this thing performs but that's up to you um, you know the radials on these cars don't look quite as you know out of place as putting the uh, big white oval, you know, wide wall on the uh, you know, on the earlier cars. This car had some tall gearing in it. I believe it's a 370 rear. Um, you know, that's just, just what it was. That's how it was delivered originally so it's not a tremendous highway cruiser but it, it runs good um, something to be aware of you should know uh, you know what that gearing is and what it means in terms of you know how you intend to use the car no, it's not a long trip car is what I'm saying it's gonna it's going to have some higher RPMs uh, on highway driving. So it's going to use more fuel, and it's just going to, you know, it's going to be, it's just going to be running at, at a higher RPM. Uh, this, that's, this car is for somebody who wants a cruise night car, something to go, you know, just, just take out periodically, and you know, not have to get crazy spending money on it. The car just doesn't need anything, other than the heater switch, which I'm taking care of. Anybody can make a car look good for, you know, a couple months, a year, but it's, uh, you know, how's it holding up after five, 10, 15, 20 years? That's the, uh, that's what you're paying for on a good restoration and good body work. The paint work is paint work. It just lays on top of the body work. You know, you have, uh, you have bad body work. I don't care how good your paint work is, it's, it's coming apart. Alright, let's let some traffic go here. Alright, we're gonna run us up to 6500. Okay, this thing runs as it should. Yeah, 
it's all it's always an experience driving running up the red line on bias ply tires um, trying not to break them loose of course it's something i try to avoid uh, sometimes it's difficult though so i have to kind of feather the gas uh, in the accelerator so i'm not torching the tires because this thing will but that's not what we're trying to do that's not what this car is about this is a cruiser pretty elegant, you know, eye, 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 eye catcher, head turner type car. But now it does run well and uh, you can change these tires out. But honestly, with, with the gearing in this car and the way it's all set up, I, I wouldn't touch it. I would drive it just the way it is. Because it's just, it's not a go fast car. And the steering's tight, so it's not sloppy and pulling all over the place. You know, it's, it's, it's just a nice cruiser. So that's, uh, that's it. That's it. It's, uh, it's a great car for the money. And again, if you, uh, if you deserve a car that uh, is at this level and they can afford it, uh, I, don't, I don't see why you would look for another one. Not a lot of them out there. And, and they're up in price. Um, it's still a good demand for really good solid axles. So this, uh, this is a great one. All right, so give us a call. Send us an email. And we'll uh, be happy to talk to you about it. And also, please, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get updates on new inventory and... All the cool stuff we have coming in, we do a video. We do videos on all new inventory. And urge you to check them out. All right, thanks for watching and have a great day.